All right, guys. Reporting here, I know it's been a while, but I messed up. Yep, you heard it from me. I messed up a little bit with my car. I broke quite a few things, okay? I'm sorry, guys. I know you probably told me in the comments not to break stuff, not to cut my hood, not to do all these dumb things, but I did it anyways, and I'm gonna have to just fix them and learn my lesson. But let me get into exactly what's broken on the car and how I'm gonna fix it and what the plans are for the car in the future. Heck yeah. Okay. Well, as you guys can see, I broke my fender flare and it's really sad. It's completely destroyed right here in the front. Let's just fix that. I broke it because I drove without my bumper when I was fixing my inner cooler. But look at my front mount now, it's straight. So that's at least one less thing to worry about. And I'll pull my bumper off for you guys real quick. Follow me. Okay, so let me just prop my head and get to the other broken things. Hand tight. That's what I'm talking about, dude. If you can't do everything without a tool, then what's the point? Plus, I mean, the air is pushing on the bumper, so it's, it's all good. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, bring that closer. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys is my beautiful intercooler setup it's now mounted if you can see this mounted by one bracket you can get a little lower it's mounted by this one bracket right here all the way on the crash bar and then as you can see it's freaking level then it's also mounted on the other side by the other crash bar and then I have these my intercooler pipes going to it, of course so it's finally level it looks a lot better. It's not perfect yet. It's slightly tilted and not exactly placed, but I'm going to be getting like some other custom intercooler pipes that will be even better. So that's kind of the plan for the intercooler setup. But as you can see, if you come closer, yeah, I'll take that. If you look at my turbo setup, let it focus in there. The whole turbo is now still like mounted or, uh, clocked it down I guess it's still clocked down so if you can see the intercooler pipe back there it goes to that 90 degree bend and then it goes under the intake so that way in my opinion it looks a lot better than having the pipe like right above you know like going across and stuff so that's why I don't like that but yeah my freaking flares are broken and I basically ordered new flares just barely and they're a slightly different style than the ones I have uh, I'm just gonna show you guys when I get them so you can understand but I think they look a little bit more aggressive and look better so hopefully you guys will like that but yeah new flares are on the way that's what I meant to say I ordered new flares they're coming I will fix it and make it look better the rear ones are still pretty good so I'm gonna have to get new ones for all four anyways like Either way, but they at least the rear ones held up. All right, on to the next thing that I broke. If you guys could come a little bit closer. My hood, my poor hood. So it's chopped, as you guys know. I did that for my hood exit exhaust. That video was actually so sick and it sounded sick, but of course it was not the way I wanted to go. Then I also cut another hole for my external wastegate. But guys, don't worry. I'm just gonna get a new hood. I have already sourced uh, two new hoods out. One is a carbon fiber one. 
that I think would be really sick and I want to get the carbon fiber one but it is like really expensive so I don't know if I'm going to get a carbon one or if I'm just going to get a stock hood replacement but of course you guys will see that soon enough that's that yeah the hood will be fixed let's move on to the next thing if you could come over here I got my door fixed but when they fixed the door they like didn't put this piece on very good so rip uh, I'm sorry guys it's it's really sad the condition of the car but we will not give up we will keep going okay now on to the best part of the car if you come to the rear get like a nice angle the rear looks the best right now in my opinion the trunk is all fixed and it's clean the only problem with the rear and we're gonna fix it is it's not that low as you can see it just looks like it looks too tall and too fat to me it doesn't look sporty enough and if you come a little bit over here my gap for my fender uh, there's a lot left I could honestly go a lot lower so that's how we're gonna fix the rear of the car is just by slamming it and trying to go really low and then hopefully that will make it look a little bit more aggressive but I am really digging how the trunk came out I like the clean look I don't see it all the time and I just think it's kind of unique but, uh... oh yeah and probably one of the final things I guess is my seat i need to get a new seat as you can see i have a bucket seat on the other side and i still have the stock seat on this side i actually have the money to get the seat but i don't know any dealer that sells the same corbo seat so i'm trying to find a new corbo seat and if i can't find it i'll have to go back up to my hometown and just buy the same seat that i got from the same dealer so not a big deal it'll be coming it's just a matter of when but i'll definitely be getting a new bucket seat and you guys will see that install and it'll make the car that much closer <sighs> okay all right guys so as you can see there are a lot of problems with the car but there's a lot of good things we finally have the turbo setup that we want it's a precision 58 58 turbo and it's massive you guys have seen it the whole time been on the channel for a little bit but we have basically everything like engine wise running really good so now we're just trying to get the cosmetics of the car to like look a lot better you know and it will be coming really soon like I said there's just a few things I actually have the grill that goes right here uh, for the front bumper I have that in my car I just need to uh, put it back on the bumper and then I also broke my mirror a little bit but I have a brand new mirror that's the same color so I just have to put that on as well but uh, yeah, I just want you guys to know that everything is coming for the car and we're not going to give up with the build. It's going to be better than ever and we're just going to keep pushing forward. So if you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.